Hi there, I'm at Arusha's and I thought I'd walk around and show you the changes and improvements that have gone on since we were last here. So here we are up to the cabin. The fox gloves are out. There's the cabin. It's now an office for the lady next door. There's the dehydrator that we were working on, the beginnings of. Solar panels, it's the little kitchen. So here's the garden down there. That's where that big hole is that we dug and hauled all the soil up to here. <coughs> so there's the solar panel for the dehydrator. And this morning we attached this pipe here onto it. So it's not working yet. There won't be any fruit and things until February. So there's the winter bath and they've done a little rock wall there. Lovely bushes growing up there. These are red currants I think. So it's really that that cool store now has the earth roof and the earth garden. So there's the a dunny. Chickens aren't out at the moment, but there's four four or five in there, red ones. I'm staying in the Hobbit hut this time. So there's the van in front of the Hobbit hut. And that's all very comfy. There's two beds. There's one there and oh, there's one in there. And there's a little kitchen here. And then there's a shower with hot solar water. Which is pretty neat. And then as you can see this garden has grown up quite a lot. It's now six foot high. And the sycamore tree over there is self-seeded. So there's poppies. There's Arusha reading. Hello. Hi, Lori. <laughs> Don't know what those are. There's the veggie garden over there, veggie flower garden. There's lots of bees around because Arusha's keeping bees and they're down here. get too close. There's a beehive. So she gave me a jar of honey. That's a mobile chicken run. There's the pig pen over there. We'll go over and see if the piggies are in. Oh that's another beehive. 
Yeah. And see they're all busy. I'm busy going in and out there. So it looks really beautiful now. And then don't know if the piggy's there. We did some work on the gate before and one of them was was here. No, I won't go in there. Can't see one. I'll maybe get a picture later on of a pig. So, there's more veggie garden here. Lots of beans and peas. Um, a bit early yet for most things. So there's apple trees, plum trees, apricot trees. So all the trees have grown up and you can't see as far but it's made it very nice and lots of shade of course, lots more shade than there was. So there we are, it's really lovely, and certainly enjoyed my stay here and later on I'll get some pictures of the chickens and maybe hopefully of the pigs. Okay there you go, it's a bit of a look around, see what Arusha's been up to. I've helped her with a few small things, she's been happy with that. She's had woofers I think for the last six months who have just gone, so the young fellows from Germany and they did lots of work for her so she's able to take a few days off and relax before people come for Christmas. I'm heading home tomorrow so I'll you well you by the time you see this you would have had a nice Christmas with the family everybody and I'll call you guys and see how it went. Okay cheerio. There's the chickens. <laughs> Hello girls. Here you go. Good morning. You're not missing out this morning, are you? Hard, hard. I don't know what happened yesterday. Come on, go, 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 go through. Let me through. Let us through. Here we go. I'll, I'll yes. pull them away with the food. Come on. Come on. There you go. But you don't need to worry about the gate. Okay. They won't go back in the air for the food. All right. All right. Alrighty, here we go. Yes. Uh, Calais, come on, Ada, just come down here a little bit. Here we go. Good deal.